hello friends in last video we have seen how we can create uh, different tabs in WooCommerce using its filter now in this video we are going further uh, so here is advanced custom field plugin we are going to use this plugin in our uh, this uh, tutorial so what using this plugin we are going to create one custom field in uh, backend of this uh, WooCommerce product ok here is our product and we will create one custom field here and uh, as per the value of that custom field we will display the content in the front end of uh, WooCommerce uh, in the front end and in this tab last time we have seen how we can create our custom tab using filter so let's get started first of all download uh, advanced custom field plugin there please read this plugins documentation and all this kind of things it is really 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 powerful and great plugin so let's start by adding a custom field go to custom fields click add new mm. video we are going to create one video tab and uh, that's why we are going to add one field which name is video Okay. this will be a text post type will be product okay so this will create one text box for us and from here we are specifying that this is the for the product only and from here we are going to choose a standard WP meta box publish okay this is going to create one custom field for us in product edit screen so here it is here it is this is our custom field that uh, we have just created now we are going to add YouTube video URL here okay so now we have saved YouTube video URL here we want to display this video in here in one new tab so let's move to the coding part here are here is our old tabs that we have created in last video so this is the filter that helps us to create tabs this filters lead to us this uh, function and this function has a tabs array so to create a video step we have to create add one extra element in tabs array I'm going to copy the last time's custom my custom tab. Okay, so product video video is going to be 10 20 and so product video. This is going to be a function. So let's create it. Okay. So this one will be executed when uh, uh, this uh, this one is leading us to this 
function and this function will display the content of this particular tab so in this content we need to create an embed code for our video to create an embed code we need youtube id youtube video id so we are going to fetch youtube video id from its url i have already one little code that uh, do it for me i'm going to paste it here okay so in this first step we are we are going to grab the video url to grab the video url we need this function get field this is coming from advanced custom field uh, plugin and we have to pass the parameter here the name of the field so it is going to be video tab uh, So this is our name. So I'm going to copy it and paste it here. This will provide us a video URL. Okay. So and and this one is going to provide me video ID. This is actually exporting exploding the whole string into two part and then again it is exploding it uh, the second part in we are finding finally our video id okay so now i am going to echo the iframe which will create a embedded uh, embedded video okay so here is our iframe its width is 320 height is to 40 and here is a standard URL and this is a video ID that we just fetched from the URL provided by the user in particular product. So it will return this full URL as to us and we are going to separate this ID from there and then using that ID we are going to create embed code. So let us see if our code works or not. I am going to refresh okay here is our new tab and it is loading here is our video uh, it seems it is a responsive so it is resizing video by default we can add our easily add our CSS here in this similar fashion we can create as many tabs as we wish using advanced, advanced custom field and uh, the filter provided by the WooCommerce. So, thank you for watching. See you in next video. Bye.